Good morning, my name is Christy, and welcome to day four of 21 days of Breakthrough Prayer with the Pentecostals of Murfreesboro and LifeBridge Church. Um, thank you for joining me this morning. Each day, someone new will walk through one day of this devotional with you. And if you've missed any of the last few days, I encourage you to go back and listen to them because they've been wonderful. Today's devotion is titled, I Love the Lord. And I love the verse um, mentioned first off. <clears throat> it says, it's uh, Psalms 116, 1 through 2, and it says, I love the Lord because he hears my voice and my prayer for mercy. Because he bends down to listen, I will pray as long as I have breath. It's one of those verses that I've read, but I've never really meditated on. Um, and it makes me think of my own kids. You know, um, when they're sick or hurting or even when they're excited, it's it's not enough for me just to stand there and watch. I, I need to be in it with them. You know, I need to be close to them. I need to bend down and see their face and know know what's going on. Um, my youngest, Graham, came home sick from school on Monday, and when I got home from work and saw him laying on the couch, I, I couldn't just stand there and look at him. I needed to be on the couch with him, looking in his face, touching him, talking to him, making sure that he was okay. You know, he was hurting, and I wanted to be close enough to know that. And if I feel that way as a natural mother, how much more does our Heavenly Father feel that way? He loves us even more than that. He bends down close when we call on him, no matter the reason. In sorrow or joy, he wants to be near, but we have to call on him first. Um, we're bombarded every day with things that compete for our attention and energy. We live in a busy world. We live busy lives. Um, and so if we don't take time first thing to come to him, to be with him, we will sprint into the day with these burdens and to-do lists that occupy our our mind. Um, and when we carry those burdens and worries throughout the day, we're not really noticing anything else. Um, but we're not called to just make it through the day like that. We're not called just to live these lives accomplishing to-do lists. We're called to live abundant, joyful lives. He gave us his spirit to be witnesses. Um, and and to, that's what brings him glory is when we live joyful, abundant lives, not burdened down. Um, I love how he stated this in the book. It says, he has given me this one life to live. He knows all the people in my life. He knows all the needs of their lives. He has asked me to care, to intercede for them, to stand in the gap for them, to be a bridge for them to heaven, to stand with them in their fight. And that passage reminds me of what Pastor always says about how he prays that um, God would order his steps for the day and put people in his place to talk to about him um, and that he would be aware and see the open door and have boldness to walk through. Um, God is asking us to bear each other's burdens, but we can't do that if we don't lay ours down first, if we don't give them to him first because it's too much, it's too heavy. Um, and he is bending down low to hear me, to hear you, to know us. Um, so take time to talk to him, to share your heart with him so that he can share his heart with you. Trust that he's fighting for you. Um, I heard a podcast a while back by Doug Fields um, on parenting, and it said something like, um, those who know they are dearly loved can love dearly. And we are so dearly loved. God loves us so much. And when we come to him, he gives us the capacity to love that way too. Um, so I'm going to pray for us this morning. Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for your amazing love that we cannot even comprehend. But today, Lord, I pray that you would just show us a glimpse of how much you love us. I pray that you would give us the capacity to love people the way you love us. And I ask God that you would order our steps, open doors today for us to carry others' burdens. I pray that you give us boldness to walk through those doors. Help us to be aware and to see people around us. Um, thank you for what you're doing. And I pray, Lord, that you would just be with us today. Help us to walk in your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for joining me today for day four, I Love the Lord. Uh, take some time today to read the devotional for yourself, if you haven't already. 
and join us again live tomorrow at 7 a.m. for day five that I speak fearlessly. Have a great day.